Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the Rider Kicks figure for Kamen Rider Valkyrie from Kamen Rider Zero One. This is the rushing cheetah form. Unfortunately this is probably the only form of Valkyrie we're going to get in the Rider Kicks figure lineup. I really like her Lightning Hornet uh, form so I was really hoping that would get a figure as well. But rushing cheetah is still pretty cool as well. Here's a nice picture of the figure on this side. Here's a picture of the actual suit over here. And then on the back just shows the other two that are available in the line so far. So without further ado, let's get Valkyrie out of the box and we'll take a closer look. So here she is out of the box. I think Valkyrie looks great. Not really any paint applications on the back, but I don't really think you need any. She has the kind of cheetah print going on on the one side. It's kind of funny, with the, with the one side having the cheetah print, it kind of reminds me of Chitara from Thundercats. <laughs> uh, but I definitely like the figure very much. Nice paint on the helmet. Again, you have the like little cheetah specks on the side over here. This side's mostly white, but you have some kind of nice uh, gunmetal gray type paint over here. Heads on a ball joint, so that can move all around. You have... Uh, the shoulder, it's a little weird. You kind of have to make sure, like, to get the clearance. The shoulder pad kind of gets in the way, but it has that kind of, like, up and down movement. So you can kind of, like, move it down and then move it up and then you can move it around. So just be a little wary of that. Bicep swivel, 90 degrees in the elbow. The uh, wrist swivel, because you can pop the hands out. Have that same kind of torso there. This shoulder is, like, just a shoulder pad, so it doesn't really get in the way as much. And then, again, same bicep swivel and everything. You have the hip movement there you can see it's kind of like a ball joint connected to a piece and then the leg swivels around that piece no thigh swivel 90 degrees in the knee ball joint in the ankle it's kind of funny like all the joints are a little stiff when i first got out of the box but you just work them around a little bit and then they're all good so yeah she looks good she does come with a shot riser so you can go ahead and put that in her hand and then if you want to take the driver off so it looks like, you know, she doesn't have two, you can do this. There we go. Whoops. Come on, stand up for me. There we go. So that way it looks like she took the shot riser off her belt. If you want, you can just put both on. It doesn't matter. And then she comes with two alternate hands, very similar to the ones that uh, Vulcan came with. This kind of like getting ready to pounce hands. I don't really know what's up with that, but... Yeah, she looks pretty good. I like her quite a bit. Go ahead and bring the box back in. So I definitely recommend picking her up. These figures are really not that expensive. I mean, there's not a whole lot to them. They're just kind of nice action figures. They're about, I want to say they're like somewhere in the like $15 to $20 range before shipping. Um, so, you know, kind of, kind of, I would say like an action figure of this size over here would probably be like between $10 and $15. Uh, but I think this has a pretty decent amount of articulation and paint. So I like them. I like these figures. But she's probably going to also be available in Soto. So if you're, if that's more your bag. But hey, you don't have to do any stickers over here. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.